Are we supposed to GFCI protect and arc fault protect appliances? All right, so this was a question that was left on a YouTube comment from Josh Holub. I have a question to ask and I don't know where to ask, so here it is, code concerning AFCI particularly to appliance loads. I've read code 210 in regards to AFCI and GFCI. However, I can't find anything about appliance circuits. I do not have a current code book. And when I was in the field, the whole house arc fault was still a discussion, thanks. So when he said that he was reading in 210, that is article 210 of the National Electrical Code, 210 is branch circuits. 210 is not appliances. Appliances is 422. So what does it say in 422 when we're talking about appliances, does it even mention arc fault? It does not. It mentions ground fault and in specifically in 422.5A, ground fault circuit interrupter protection. It goes over very, very specific locations, automotive vacuum machines, drinking water coolers, cord and plug connected high pressure spray washing machines. All of this is for non-dwellings. So in 422 and appliances, they are giving you all of the GFCI locations, assuming that you're not in a dwelling unit, a house. For GFCI specifically, you have to go back to 210 and that's gonna be branch circuits. Now, again, what is a branch circuit in a feeder? Well, a feeder is something that has a breaker before it and a breaker after it, or a breaker, then a disconnect. A branch circuit has a breaker and feeds to a piece of equipment. So it, it branches out and actually gets used at the location in which it branches out. So that can be an appliance that can be a receptacle that you plug in. Um, but if there is a branch circuit, you got a breaker, the home run going out to a thing and it's hooked up, you might have to arc fault protect and ground fault protect. Now, when we're talking about ground fault protection and arc fault protection, we're talking about locations. We're not talking about equipment. If equipment is in a location that requires GFCI protection or arc fault protection, then yes, that appliance does need to be protected in those ways. But just remember, it's not specifying an appliance or specifying a machine or a piece of equipment. GFCI and AFCI protection is always about the location that you're in. Just as a reminder so that you guys keep in your mind what you're actually doing with GFCI protection. In the 2020 National Electrical Code, a whole bunch of 240 volt stuff has been added. So if you've got, you know, like a dryer or a Tesla charger or something like that, if those things are in an environment that requires GFCI protection already by code, then those 250 volt or less uh, pieces of equipment or receptacles or circuits have to have ground fault protection. So that's just updated in 2020, 2017 was not that way. So if we go to 210.8, all 125 volt through 250 volt receptacles need ground fault protection. Not light switches, not chandeliers, not things like that. It's receptacles. It's something that somebody can come in contact with because they're plugging in or they're unplugging something. So I had an inspection recently that we did um, on this house and uh, inspector came in and he's he said uh, you don't have to worry about putting your range you know your your stove your oven on a GFCI even though it's uh, within six feet of the sink that's the designation you're supposed to put any of those receptacles that are within six feet of a sink on a GFCI breaker even if it's 250 volts and this was this oven it was a two, uh, 50 amp 250 volt receptacle. But he said, I'm gonna allow it to not be just because when that thing is plugged in, nobody's gonna come in contact. They would have to take the whole stove out, move it, and then try to unplug it. So he's like, I'm gonna let that fly. Some inspectors might, some might not. So again, that is a receptacle. We are ground fault protecting receptacles in specific areas. Now these areas are places where water is going to exist. So garages, bathrooms, outdoors, basement. So again, it's the area, it's not the piece of equipment specifically. Next thing is arc fault protection. So AFCI protection is in 210.12. So it says in dwelling units, all 120 volt single phase 15 and 20 amp branch circuits, not receptacles, the entire branch circuit. So if you have a dedicated home run from a panel to a washing machine, 
the utility rooms are required to have arc fault protection. So that whole area of the utility room means that the entire room, anything run in there has to be arc fault protected. Doesn't say just the washing machine has to be arc fault protected or not arc fault protected. It's the area that matters. So there are certain areas that are not required. Anything outdoors is an area where you don't have to have arc fault protection. Um, these seem, GFCI and, arc, and AFCI protection seem to kind of be getting raised and elevated more and more every code cycle. So I could imagine at certain points with manufacturers making new smart panels and things like that, that every circuit is gonna be uh, able to have the logic in it to detect both ground faults and arc faults. I could see that happening in the future. Um, but for now, we actually do have some allowances. But that hopefully answers your question. It is about the area and in 210, you're talking branch circuits. So anything you're running a branch circuit to, whether it's 250 volts or less, has to have GFCI protection. Anything in specific rooms that it mentions in 210.12 for arc fault protection, you have to arc fault protect any branch circuit in that area, all branch circuits in that area. So thanks for the question, my dude. Love you crazy people. I'll see you in the next one.